Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. And I am doing your reading this week on the full moon, no, sorry, the new moon in Sagittarius in your sign. So let's get started. Tapping into your energy. This is for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Sagittarius. Keep in mind, these are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Try not to build a story. If it's not resonating for you, most likely the message is not for you. Check with the other placements, your moon sign, your rising sign, or any of the other zodiac that stand out for you. Sagittarius. Very fond of your energy, of the energy of Sagittarius. It's very adventurous. Uh, of course, all of the zodiac archetypes have a light and a, a shadow aspect to them, but um, it's just very spiritual and very expansive. I actually have a stellium. I have four planets, four, four planets in Sagittarius, if you can't tell. <laughs> so anyway. Enough about me. Let's get into the message for you, Sag. All right. Thank you very much. We do have all 12 zodiac archetypes within us. Anyway. Wow. Okay. Talking about some... Uh, Interesting, Sagittarius. So the first card out we have is the Magician. So this is your um, alchemy, your energy, what it's attracting to you, what are you intentionally creating, what are you unintentionally creating, and when, uh, what uh, energy is behind that element of manifestation because the outcome you want to you always want to be discerning <laughs> when people pop into your life or certain things not to say don't go for it but uh when people pop into your life or certain opportunities come to fruition you want to always use discernment how does it feel also how does it feel? Does it feel right to you? Ten of Swords. It's telling me that something's come to an ending. And I feel like this is the, the way that you're thinking. This could be some negative self-talk. Negative negativity. Uh, an old mindset is finally coming to an end. Because I think that if you reflect in the past, Mercury is about to go retrograde as well. If you reflect to the past, I think that you're able to see what you've created or, or brought forth into your life to experience that were really less than pleasing to experience, yet they were definitely um, important things for you to have experienced so that you can learn about yourself and learn about your parts, all your different parts within you, especially how the mind were operated. Now we have the Knight of Swords overall. So I feel like you're really excited. This is a, um, hmm. King of Cups below. This is um, an energy of, I've got to, I've got to make a move. I've got to express this. This is some newfound understanding and I've got to spread the message. I've got to spread the word. But this time with love, compassion, with heart. Maybe you've tried in the past and there were other energies that were sort of 
backing behind you. Whether that be the need to be, say, right, or the need to be um, the need to have f fame and fortune or, or whatever, like whatever the motives were before, there was a certain mindset behind it. And now things are changing, what I'm getting. Now your mindset has changed. So what you are creating and what you are expressing and what you're sharing is also changing. There is definitely a new way of perceiving yourself and perceiving this journey, perceiving creation itself or co-creation. Tell me about the magician for Sagittarius, please. Night of emotions. Yeah. Okay. Let me just get a couple more. This is a pretty, um, this is a new one. This is, okay. Yeah, something, 10 of swords again. You definitely have changed. Um, this is a big change for you. Sagittarius. Uh, I mean, I think that you had gone through waves and waves of changing and shifting and adjusting and pivoting and understood self-awareness and self-understanding. Yeah, you are, uh, you may be even reflecting on um, things that 20, is it 2022? Yeah, the eclipse of 2022, around October-ish. Things were not so good. Things were very heavy and confusing and foggy and dense. And we went through some pretty deep rabbit holes. Um, and now you're coming out, you're popping up out of the rabbit holes and you're like, oh my gosh, I completely and totally understand now what, uh, what that all was about. And I've got to change this, uh, mentality, this mindset. It's done. It's over with. It's Ten of Swords. It's over, done with, gone. Night of Emotions. You're, you're feeling a whole new way about yourself, about your journey, and what it is that you are co-creating, what you desire to co-create, the motive and the, um, the intent behind your manifestations are that of pure heart, and compassion for others to help. It's not self-involved anymore. Of course, we still need things to uh, help the self along too, but it's not fully based on self. It is, um, you've also gotten to a point where you can sort of chill, relax a bit, and kind of let the chain reaction begin. Let everything, let the dominoes begin to fall. Now you could actually be the very first domino. You might be the one that pushes those dominoes. But this card is telling me that um, let things happen. Let things happen. Let everything unfold naturally as it is. Um, six of emotions. The most important thing for you to do is get out of, <laughs> get out of the mindset of lack, of pain, of hurt, whatever these negative energies that have been, you know, you've been working through and working through fear, doubt, insecurity, um, paranoia, <laughs> some. and um, now you're more in that adventurous, childlike, wonder hmm curious what's this all about what's tomorrow gonna bring what what does this mean I, and i really see that um shifting and changing the entire trajectory yeah this is also a time for you to kind of slow down sagittarius take it easy on yourself 
we are still sort of in this strange stretch between worlds, between your old self and your new self. We need time to integrate, to process, to heal. Slow down, okay? Things are gonna unfold. Things will unfold. What else do we have for Sagittarius, please? I'm also... <sighs> assumptions. In the past, you may have had either... Not necessarily expectations. Although, it's possible. But when we have... Um, especially when it's geared towards others... We see potential and then we become disappointed when the potential actually hasn't executed the way that we can see it because we see into each other's soul at times. But truly that potential is the way you would, what you would do if you were in that other person's shoes. Not what that person's potential truly is. So there's like a, lot, a big realization like, oh, wow, okay. Um, I'm going to reflect everything back onto me again. I have to take this in stride. There's a, something is ending the, the way that you um, make choices and decisions when it comes to your heart. And when it comes to your feeling body, your emotion, emotional body. This could be related to a specific someone or just in general overall. The fool, the hermit. You got to trust, you got to trust the unknown right now. And you do. I see that you do. Judgment. Three major arcana. Seven of cups. All right. So, Sagittarius, when it comes to those that were in your life, those that you had been you know, in love with or, you know, just really connected with in the past. It seems as though there's been some heartbreaks and some, there could be, there's loss for sure. Like you've lost somebody or some people in your life. Um, and it's sad I think that some of the memories keep coming back to you and, and I keep going back to that um, what I just said when you see the potential in someone what you're truly seeing is the potential that you would take if you were them like what you want them to be or even just if it were you but it's not you they have their own life path I think this is a deep lesson that you're learning here, Sagittarius, when it comes to um, other people. So that you're not left on your knees like that. It's just a shame. So you're not left feeling abandoned and disappointed, but instead, Enlightened, awakened, judgment. You're hearing the call within yourself. So trust the universe, trust the unknown, trust your journey. Take a leap of faith into that. Um, use this time wisely. Use this time to go within, deep within. Do your inner work. Um, get all of the self-awareness, self-understanding you can 
uh, and yourself and on um, maybe a situation that keeps reflecting back to you six of emotions seven of emotions six of cups seven of cups there's definitely memories of past relationships or past people and, and situations and events that have definitely have ended but also what has ended is your patterns you are understanding i get why you i i understand why these people why this person had come into my life or these people um to really show me parts of myself that i couldn't see before parts of myself that needed to heal parts of uh, certain ways of feeling and expressing myself that i need to eclipse and and move away from so we're going to get you one last message here sagittarius ah uh, I hope that you are all doing well. If you are liking this video so far, Sag, please don't forget to click that like button below the video. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Feel free to comment. I love to read all of your comments. And if you're um, interested in a personal reading, you can book that through my website, which is bethechange333.com. And that information is in the description box below the video. Oops. Yeah, Prince of Swords below that. So there's definitely new insight, sharper vision, higher, bigger picture perspective there. All right, advice for Sagittarius, please. Thank you. Walking in beauty. Reminds me of Arizona. All right. Radiant beauty surrounds you. You're beautiful inside and out. No matter what your age, your grace is growing. Being in balance. As you walk in beauty and feel gratitude for it, your life will be filled with immense splendor. Whenever you can, spend time in natural wild spaces. As you see and hear and feel beauty around you, your own beauty will grow. Your native spirit wants you to know. In Native American traditions, there's a concept of walking in beauty. I'm not even going to pronounce what it's called, but it is a Navajo tradition. <laughs> and it means being in balance with a natural way of life. When we are in the right relationship with the natural world around us, we are walking in beauty. The more you sense and see beauty around you, in your environment, yourself, and your body, the more it will fill your life in all forms. Never say anything about yourself or your body that's negative. Don't put down yourself or others. Instead, affirm beauty and take time to adorn your body and personal space. Walk in nature and inhale the beauty of every part of our wonderful planet. Cherish yourself and the luminescence within you and you will glow. So for many of you, one of the things that's ending, and you see these birds, those are negative, I said negative self-talk, putting an end to that way of thinking about yourself. See yourself, Sagittarius, as beautiful, as amazing. Never put yourself down, never put anybody else down. Walk in beauty. And I think that there has been some big, big lessons here as far as co-creative abilities, what you are attracting into your life and what you have, what was meant to um, teach you. Uh, and um, you definitely have learned. You're hearing the call from your higher self. It's time to wake up and uh, expand, expand and express from your heart and create from your heart. Create from that beautiful place. So I hope that you found this helpful for you, Sagittarius. I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.